And the default brain, wh where is it for? What's, what's its function? Good question. <laughs> the, uh, it's something we're still uh, trying to understand, but it appears, well, the default brain, to start it that way, is a concept that I think relates to the fact that the brain is active all of the time, irregardless of whether you're awake or you're asleep or you're engaging in a particular task or you're daydreaming or whatever. The brain is operating almost at full capacity or full strength uh, pretty much all of the time. And when we engage in a task, then it departs to some extent from that, depending on the nature of the task. So the notion of the default brain, it, it, which I suppose has some uh, attachment to computer programs and so forth, they have a default setting. Well, the brain has, a, I, I think, a, an ongoing default mode of activity, which is highly organized, uh, very uh, energy consuming. In fact, it consumes most of the energy uh, that the brain consumes, which is a very large amount. The default network and the thinking about it is really a breakthrough in brain surgery or in neurology, or in neuroscience. It would almost be presumptuous if I said yes. <laughs> well, I, you know, I think, uh, you know, I, I have used in a piece that I wrote in the uh, for the Journal of Neuroscience for their 40th... But what do you think now? I think, there, I think it's probably fair that there's a paradigm shift going on here in the way we think about the brain. That the focus has so, uh, so long been on, on making the brain do things and ignoring what it's doing all the time. And this seems to me to re reorganize that focus that most of what the brain's doing, it's doing spontaneously all the time. So, yeah, I th <laughs> is it a breakthrough? <laughs> it almost seems immodest to say yes. <laughs> I suppose it is. It certainly, if, if by that we mean that it causes people to think differently and think anew about how the brain works, then I, I would agree with that. One of the things that... Uh, people with depression have difficulty doing is to suppress depressive thoughts. And, you know, what are depressive thoughts? Well, they're thoughts about yourself. I mean, that's, you know, they're kind of self-referential thinking. Well, one of the things that, of course, we do, I mean, if you think about the default mode network and the fact that it has to do with self-referential thinking, one of the things that we do then routinely is when we engage in, in various tasks that don't have a particular self-referential nature, we tend to suppress these areas. And people have often used the phrase, you lose yourself in your work. So that if you engage in work and you become very focused on something, you tend to forget yourself. Well, this probably is healthy in some ways, uh, but people... Uh, with depression have great deal of difficulty doing this. So the, the question is whether there is something about depression that interferes with this give and take between the system that is very much concerned with self-referential thinking at that level and your ability to manipulate it, to, to kind of live in and out of that way of thinking. Because as I'm talking to you, I'm, I, you know, we're having a conversation and I'm trying to think, of, well, how do I answer these questions? And I'm not thinking a lot about my aching arm here. <laughs> no, no it, it aches. So, yeah, it aches. And, and, and uh, yet I think it's almost therapeutic we're having this conversation. And if I were to guess it and you were having me in a scanner, my guess is maybe my fault mode network would be a little less active. So it was natural to think of, of things like this in terms of depression. So the default network has got something to do with your personality. Your I character. think it, it yeah, absolutely it must have something to do with organizing the personality and in this case those aspects of it that relate to placing proper value on on information that you you get both from your body and from the environment and from other people and the like. The the critical piece of data that we lack 
uh, is 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 any information on what would happen if you lost this posterior part of the default mode network in the midline? Uh, I think quite remarkably, uh, we there. I am not aware of anybody who has ever had a stroke in that area where it has actually destroyed that entire area, and they've lived to talk about it. Hey.